please join me in welcoming Dr. Shastri. Thank you very much, uh, Jyoti, and thank you very much, ASCO, for giving us this opportunity. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to present before you the results of a large randomized controlled trial conducted in Mumbai, India. This trial tested the efficacy of four rounds of biennial cervical cancer screening by a simple technique called visual inspection with acetic acid or VIA performed by trained primary health care workers, 10th grade pass girls, in reducing deaths from cervical cancer mortality in low resource settings. This trial is funded through a R01 grant from the National Cancer Institute, NIH. Sorry, let's go back. Cervical cancer is the number one cancer mortality among women in India, and it is so in most parts of the developing world. On the other hand, a significant decrease in cervical cancer mortality has been seen across the developed world as a result of screening. The cervical cancer incidence and mortality in India contribute to around 30 percent, 30 percent of, of the global burden of cervical cancer. Unfortunately, we have no cancer, uh, cervical cancer screening program in India, mainly because pap smear screening is not feasible. Pap smear is a standard worldwide. It's not feasible in India because of inadequate infrastructure, lack of trained human resource, logistic difficulties, and relatively high costs. So we looked at a simple method. The visual inspection with acetic acid is part of the colposcopy procedure in gynecology. We picked it up from colposcopy and brought it to a rural area. We brought it to low resource settings where we trained and equipped primary health care workers to be able to provide visual inspection with acetic acid. A simple test that can be done without, it does not require laboratory support, just application of 4% of vinegar or acetic acid to the cervix. We wait for one minute. The results are available immediately, just after one minute, and paramedical workers can be trained to provide the test. This is a chart of visual inspection with acetic acid developed by the International Agency for Research in Cancer, the Lyon-based WHO organization. And as you can see, all the pictures that are on the top row are VI negative, whereas the one at the bottom row, which is thick, well-defined acetovite areas near the transformation zone, either on the endocervix or the ectocervix are both VIA positive. This is the study design, a cluster randomized controlled prospective cohort. We selected 20 slum clusters in Mumbai and we randomized them into two groups, a screening group and a control group. The screening group had 10 clusters where we effectively recruited about 75,000 women. And the control group had 10 clusters where we effectively recruited 76,000 women. The screening group received cancer education plus biennial VIA screening, four rounds of biennial VIA screening. And also there was monitoring at 24-month intervals for eight rounds, whereas the control group received cancer education at entry and biennial monitoring for cervical cancer incidence and mortality. At the time of analysis, we had completed all four screening rounds in the screening group, and we had completed six out of eight monitoring rounds in both the groups. VIA positive women from the screening group were referred to the Tata Memorial Hospital, where I work, for diagnosis. Self-referrals based on signs and symptoms which the women detected themselves or went to a local practitioner on the basis of the education that they received right at the time of entry. Such self-referrals were also referred to the Tata Memorial Hospital or they were directed to other facilities nearby of their choice for diagnosis. Confirmed Pre-invasive cancers and invasive cervical cancer cases were treated at the Tata Memorial Hospital 
at no cost or they were directed to another facility of their choice. Since this is a cluster randomized design, we analyze the data after adjusting for a design effect. These are pictures from the study. They give you glimpses of the actual setting. That's one of the clusters, slum clusters in Mumbai. The cancer education, the health education process. We must understand that these communities were naive in terms of cervical cancer screening, in terms of cancer screening in general. So we had to pass through several, several le levels of community barriers before we could actually talk to these women about cervical cancer screening and then start the screening process. We had to talk to community leaders like religious leaders, political leaders, other gatekeepers like the educated uh, school teachers in the communities who were the real opinion leaders. Once we were through with them, we could then talk to the women and you could see the informed, you can see the informed consent process and we also involved the community in a way that we asked the community to provide the places to set up this clinic, also provide school girls as volunteers to at the time of uh, conducting the screening clinic. This ensured a sense of community participation, a sense of community ownership, giving us very good participation. Coming to the results, the screening participation rates were 89%, huge for a country like India and most other places. In the control group, the participation for education, the cancer education process was 91%. Treatment completion rates of diagnosed and confirmed cases was 86%. We had an expert, so 5% of all women who were screened by the primary health workers were also independently and randomly screened by an expert and we, a third person, matched the findings of the expert with the community health workers' findings. And we had an agreement of 95% plus, which converts into statistics as Cohen's Kappa of 0.84. Most importantly, we had a 31% reduction in cervical cancer mortality. That was very significant. That was what was the entire objective of the study. We also had a 7% reduction in the all-cause mortality, which, however, was not significant. To conclude, four rounds of biennial screening with visual inspection of the acetic acid by primary health workers led to 31% cervical cancer mortality reduction. There was no overdiagnosis in this study. Overdiagnosis is a huge problem in all screening programs, in all screening trials. There was almost zero overdiagnosis in this method. In fact, whatever little overdiagnosis we had, that too ceased by the eighth year. This method, as you can see, can be performed by 10th grade pass girls, does not require a laboratory. It's widely implementable in the lowest resource settings in India or wherever. And if implemented nationally in India, we could prevent around 22,000 cervical cancer deaths in, in the country. And if taken globally to the low and middle income countries or the low resource countries, we could prevent around 72,000 deaths in developing countries annually. I wish to acknowledge all the wonderful people. As you can see, it's a huge enterprise. So all the wonderful people whose passion and dedication, it needs a lot of passion and dedication to run the study. We were funded by the NIH. The treatment costs were picked up by the Tata Memorial Center, our institution, and a non profit organization that works with women cancer patients in India called the Women's Cancer Initiative. I also wish to acknowledge all the women in India, particularly those who participated in this study. Thank you for your attention.